Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> My apologies, I slept in. Yours truly is still getting caught up on sleep. Welcome to your pick a day car. Pick a card for August 28th. So the first card has a heart over it. Second card has a butterfly. And the third card has an angel wing. Take a second to pause if you need to. Pick your card. And let's get at your message of the day. For pile one, you've got this beautiful heart. Look at how old and eloquent it looks. Like the detail. It just looks gorgeous. And <clears throat> you're being asked to tap into your heart and look at something from a higher view to detach emotionally. I feel like this was a message for somebody yesterday, just different cards. To look at her riding the owl, just looking at it from a bird's eye view above and trying to detach. So you can see the situation with love, hence the heart, with more clarity, more love and less emotion. And that is so hard to do sometimes, I get it. But that's what you're being asked to do today, to rise above, get out of the emotions and just look at it objectively as if you were somebody not personally involved. How would somebody not personally involved look at the situation? And that's what the, the, the hawk and the eagle always represent, the owl, a higher perspective, looking from things, from things above and out of your body, like detached emotionally. Pile two, we have healing the heart Aww. and this beautiful butterfly. And so it looks like you're in the middle of transforming because that's what the butterfly is about, that you're healing from a broken heart, from feeling betrayed, from somebody that you cared about, um, just hurt, unexpected things happening to you, people that you thought you could trust, um, really hurting your heart and breaking your heart. And you're taking the time to heal. And if you're not taking the time to heal, you're being asked to today to take more time to heal, that you still need to heal. It's okay to take time to heal. It's okay to want to go earnwards. And it's an important part of your transformation. This may be rooted in a lot of childhood stuff. And so this is a time for you right now, not to push, not to push, but allow your heart to heal. Yeah, everything we do. <coughs> Excuse me for that. My camera's shaking, my apologies. Um, everything we do has cycles and everything we go through has cycles. And this is a cycle to really allow yourself to heal, to transform your heart space from prior hurts. You, we build up walls is very much a part of my five step post. That's called paint about healing broken hearts. And we, we put walls up after we've been broken by people we love and hurt by people we love, but it's important to let other people in. And then we have to start healing that and not blaming ourselves and not taking it personally and remembering that those that hurt are hurt people and it's not you personally and try to really reclaim your love for yourself and not blame yourself and not be so guarded when other people want to come into your life. It's time to really heal the past and move on so you can find love again. Okay, pile three, you've got the angel wing and you've got opening to discovery. Interesting. Opening to discovery means that you're starting to, you're looking at a whole different world. Look at the key with the portal. You're opening, you're opening to, dis, you're opening to discover, or you're open to discover what this means in the spiritual world for you, I believe, with the angel wings. Maybe you're looking at communicating with angels. Maybe you feel like you have mediumship talents and abilities where you could be a channel for loved ones that are crossed over. Um, but you're opening, you're looking, you've got the key and you're looking at a different world and it looks to you not only curious, but through the porthole of the keyhole, it looks brighter. It looks greener. It looks more alive. It looks and feels, uh, more positive. And so I think you're opening to discover something new. And if it's not the psychic world and the intuitive world with the angel wing, Whatever it is you're looking at could be a business adventure, a new relationship, a new way of living, a new way of maybe moving abroad. Um, you're really opening to the possibilities of changing how you live your life, how you see life. And you're ready to explore 
dive through the porthole and explore a new way of living. You're really feeling adventurous and it looks brighter to you, whatever it is that you're looking at or considering doing. And so the message here for the most part is whatever you're looking at doing or you feel like you want to explore, you are protected with your angels above if this is a business adventure. You're guided and you're protected and you're encouraged to discover more, discover, expand your thoughts of the world, expand how you see things in the world and step through the portal because there's a beautiful, brighter, more loving adventure awaiting for you when you step through that portal. Thank you everybody for being here. Thank you for supporting the channel. Sorry we're late this morning with this. Uh, and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm not going to do a case of the day because it's too rushed because we have our own case we're working on at one o'clock that really demands my attention all morning. So uh, we'll see you at the 4 p.m. live. Love and light. Cheers.